And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you three things you can do to clear your head on those days that you're feeling overwhelmed or worried. Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I absolutely love this scripture because it reminds us that no matter how overwhelmed we're feeling, no matter how worried we're feeling, that we can always come to God and He will help us. He will always give us a way out. So please remember that God is always there, that He's helping you, He's guiding you. He wants to be part of your day today. And that is actually my advice number one. So make a list of of all the things that are worrying you, that are stressing you out, that are making you feel overwhelmed, and make sure you present it to God in prayer. Remember that God is there to help you, to guide you, and He wants to be part of your life. He wants to be part of your day to day. So make sure you make that list, you present it to Him. And there is also in the Word of God, a promise or a solution for every single situation in your life. So make sure you look up in the Word of God what He says about that current situation you're going through and start declaring the Word of God over that situation in your life. You're going to see that this is going to help you clear out your mind. The second thing I recommend you is to step away. A step away from the situation, a step away from the problem or from that conversation that you're having at the moment that is creating that worry, concern, overwhelm, um, step away, go for a walk, take some vacation, some time off, or meditate in the Word of God. Just make sure you unplug yourself from that particular situation. You're going to see that when you step away, you're going to be able to think better and process things better and make better decisions and wiser decisions because you are seen it from a different perspective. The third thing I recommend you is to have a gratitude journal. Make sure you spend some time in the morning, at night, meditating on your day, meditating in your life, and writing down at least three things that you are grateful for. I guarantee that no matter what situation you're going through, there is always something to be grateful for. So make sure you think about it, you meditate, you write it down, and that's an exercise that will help you reset the button in your brain and let you know that there is more than that problem or that situation you're going through in life that if you put your focus on positive things you're going to start thinking more positive about whatever it is you're going through so this is it my loves i really hope these tips help you they're very practical you can start implementing them as of right now and make sure before you leave you leave us a comment below letting us know if you have more ideas on how to clear up your mind remember that your comments your ideas will help the community grow i'll see you in the next video Video. Have a blessed day.